Hey there, it's Jane from the blog ChalkingUpSuccess.com and today I'm making DIY cinnamon candles and I'll put a link to the full recipe in the description below but this is what you're going to need. Some cinnamon, some wooden pegs, cinnamon sticks and star anise, some beeswax, soy flakes, some empty jars, some natural organic oils, I'm using cinnamon. These are wax buttons, they'll help stick the candle wick into the jar. And then this is my beeswax. I bought this batch from a local beekeeper and that's why it's in sheets. And I just ripped it up um, to make it easier to melt. But you can also buy it as pellets. So first to melt the wax I'm making a double boiler and I've got a small saucepan with a very small amount of water in it and I'm just hooking a glass jug over the top of the saucepan so this, the jug doesn't touch the bottom of the pan and that's important because otherwise the wax could burn. You can use one of your candle jars to measure out the soy wax and if you fill the jar up twice with wax that will give you one candle. So I'll just measure mine out and I've got my water on a simmer and I'm adding the wax directly into the glass bowl. And I'll just clean up the mess I've made here. While the candle wax is melting I'm going to clean up my jars a little bit because they've got sticky glue residue on the lids. I removed the label but I still couldn't get all the glue off. So I'm adding a drop of olive oil onto the top of the lids and sprinkling on a little bit of baking soda and then I'm going to rub that in really well. This glue is really stubborn and I think I'm going to have to use a specialised tool to get it off and that's called a fingernail. I'm going to give it a good scratch with my fingernail to get it off and if you're using this tip and you've bitten your fingernails down to the quick then you really are going to have to use a specialised tool for this, so a scraper or something like that will do the job. And then I'll give it a good rinse under the hot tap and as you can see all the glue is gone and now the jars look like new. Now I'm going to fix the wicks to the bottom of the jars and I've got these little wax buttons for that and I'm just attaching one of the wax buttons onto the bottom of the metal part of the wick and then I'm going to press that down into the middle of the glass and that wax will then help the wick to stay in place when I pour the hot wax in. Now I'll just show you what I'm going to do with the pegs. Once I pour in the hot wax I'm going to put a peg across the top and the wick will go in between the little slit in the wood and that's going to help the wick stay straight in the candle while it sets. So the wax is melting nicely, I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir to help it along and then once it's completely melted I'm going to take it off and put it onto the stand. If you have a kitchen thermometer handy then you can use that to measure the temperature of the melted soy wax and once the wax cools to around 150 Fahrenheit, uh, 65 Celsius then you can add the cinnamon essential oil. I'm adding around 30 drops of cinnamon essential oil to each candle. And then give it a good stir to make sure it's really well blended. Pour some of the melted cinnamon scented soy wax into the bottom of the glass and allow it to cool. And before the wax hardens, just place in four or five cinnamon sticks around the sides of the glass and they should easily stand up against the glass. And 
I like to drop some chopped cinnamon bark into the candle now and again as I'm pouring the wax. And I'm going to let that set for a little while first before I pour in the next lot of wax. And I'm going to keep doing that until the jar is full so that I can so that the wax hardens a little bit and then I can add some cinnamon bark and that won't settle to the bottom of the glass. And now I can fill the wax right up to the top of the glass. You can see when the wax is hardening because it becomes opaque and then when it starts to look like that you can drop in some star anise and maybe a bit more of the cinnamon bark if there's room for it. And then to make the beeswax candle I've melted the wax in exactly the same way as I did with the soy wax but this time I'm going to add a teaspoonful of cinnamon powder instead of the cinnamon essential oil. And then give it a really, really good stir to make sure that it's really well incorporated and dissolved into the beeswax. And then I can start to fill up my candle again. And then the only other difference I made with the beeswax candle is that I filled the top with a little bit of pure beeswax without the cinnamon to get a kind of an ombre effect. And this is how they turned out. If you're thinking of making these DIY cinnamon candles yourself then please visit the blog post first because there's so much more advice and tips and tricks there that I couldn't add to this YouTube video because it would be too long. You'll find a link to the blog post in the description below this video. And that's it from me at Chalking Up Success. If you enjoyed the tutorial please feel free to share it or give it a like or a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.